Hey Jazz, this is your second video for the spinning insert installation. So we went ahead and finished drilling this after I got a new fresh battery. Of course, there's a little comedy comic relief for you for the day. <laughs> but I got that all done, all drilled. And then I went ahead and dropped down four of the first four bolts. Um, so that way um, it'd be ready when I lift these up. Also, you'll notice that I have two blocks underneath here sitting where the motor's resting and then also the back is resting back there as well. Okay, so after I got that all set in, I'll lift these up and just get it into place. There's one, and then very important, you want to use your block washer first. Get it placed. And then you want to get your you want to go down. That would be better if you have someone that can help you while you're lifting up, and also someone to get the screws. Okay. That one feels pretty secure, and we'll go to the next one. And lock washer and then the nut. With this one, I'm going to go a little bit tall, higher than the last one that I just did. And from there, start working on going back to it. So I'll continue going back to it, and then the process will be is that I will go ahead and continue just going front to back, tightening them little by little until they're all completely tightened up. Also, you'll notice on these bolts that they're carriage bolts. So what they have is that they're actually square on the top. And so at the very, when I get close to where I, where I need to do the final um, tightening on each, on each bolt, I'm gonna go ahead and take a hammer. I'm gonna beat them down. So that way they'll just smash right down into the wood and then I can finish tighten them up that way. So I'll finish tighten these up and then I'll show you the next video how to install the, the shaft, the belt, and then the, um, the power switch.